This is Arthur. Arthur is an ant eater and he is going to help you with the ants in your pants so that you can use the ants in your pants to supersize or if necessary save your business. Given what's going on in the current situation, the current environment, you might be in one of a couple of different positions. You might be in any of anywhere along the spectrum of positions, but your business might be running and clicking along like usual and not even like usual, like 10 times usual and you need to supersize and grow and, and keep up with the increased demand. Or you might find yourself in a position like many that your business has been shut down and come to a grinding halt. And in that case, you wanna use the ants in your pants to save your business. Now, Arthur doesn't like his ant-eating nose, but if you're like me and you get ants in your pants, you would love an Arthur in your life to eat up those extra ants, to use that extra excessive restlessness, eagerness, um, the overactivity and energy that you've got pent up if you're in a situation where you're not able to do work as usual, business as usual, run your business as usual. Uh, and pretty much none of us are running our business as usual, at least not compared to a couple of weeks ago. Now this expression hasn't been around that long, actually since about 1933 or 1934. It is credited to a former army general named Hugh, I think Hugh S. Johnson was his name. And he um, might not have actually made up or coined the phrase, probably got it from his parents or his grandparents to be honest, but nobody knows for sure, it's not really recorded, but he did definitely make the saying famous by uh, asking people and wondering to people if they had ants in their pants. Meaning, of course, that you're overactive or anxious or chomping at the bit to do something, right? You wanna, you're you eager, you're, you're looking forward to doing something and you really wanna do it right now, but something is holding you back or stopping you or preventing you from doing it. Kinda like the COVID-19 right now is preventing a lot of us, especially business owners, from chomping at the bit and doing the things that we wanna do right now. However, I want to challenge you right now as a business owner to not um, let the ants in the pants go unanswered. Use them, use that eagerness, use that energy, use this time to create and get really creative on ways to serve the people that you were serving. Use it um, in creative ways to solve the problems that they've got right now. The problems that they had, the problems your customers had two weeks ago are very different than the problems that they have right now. And if you have the way, shape, means, or ability to help them in any way, it's, it's kind of our duty to do that. We all actually owe it to people to offer up suggestions and help and services in physically distanced ways, but in whatever ways we possibly can. If you do not have an online presence for your business up to this point, I am begging you to get an online presence at least get on social media and start communicating with your people. I mean, at an absolute bare minimum, people need to know what's going on with you. Start an email list. There are so many things that you can do if you haven't done them yet that it's imperative that you do them now. It is imperative for your future going forward that you have these things in place. Every one of us needs to have social media accounts email accounts, ways of communicating with people, and various, not just one way to communicate with people, various ways to communicate with people so that we can continue to serve them even when we can't physically serve them. And if you're struggling or you, if you don't know how to do that, oh my God, just ask me in the comments below and hit me up. If you've never done anything online or if you're experienced online and you're just like, my God, I'm stuck, I need a creative way to look at this situation hit me up in the comments below and we'll, we'll set up a time to chat about it because it's it's not that hard. There is something absolutely every single one of us can and should be doing right now. And it isn't sitting around and, and thinking, ain't it awful, my business is shut, how am I gonna make payroll, how am I gonna do this, how am I gonna do that? It's no, it's, it's that's the problem. the problem. The problem's already been handed to all of us on a silver platter and it's outside of any of our control, it really is. So now that we've been dealt this, what are we gonna do about it? And it's up to us as leaders to, to proactively deal with this and set ourselves up and the people that we are serving, including our families of employees and partners and things. It's up to us to make sure that we are set up as best as we possibly can be when things start to open up and we can do the things in our traditional way. Not, it's, nothing's gonna ever be the same. If we're thinking it's gonna be the same, we're deluding ourselves. The world is forever changed by this event. And so how are you changing your business? How are you gonna be 
um, doing things differently moving forward because you can be putting those systems and processes and procedures you can be mapping them out and and ready to go with them and putting them in place a lot of us can still go to our businesses and can be working on things putting them in place if I still had a physical location I would still have somebody or I would be there cleaning and sanitizing absolutely everything and every surface in the place that would be step one no matter what type of business you have that needs to be done we can't just hang out and hope that in a month all of the coronavirus and it probably would die but guess what we should still step up our our sanitation and our cleanliness and our hygiene procedures at our businesses anyway we can be doing things like that we can be communicating with our people we can be planning out ways to help them through this time period because it's it keeps getting extended right oh it's gonna be two weeks well now for at least us in Wisconsin it's till the end of April so what can you do find ways to channel your energy we can at least at a bare minimum be continuing to sharpen our saw and or sharpen our axe whichever saying you like meaning learn grow study do some online courses read some books for goodness sake about skills and things that can help you personally move forward each of us have different skill sets each of us have different areas and, and things that we're curious about and interested in get busy doing those things do what you can do right now do what you can with what you've got right now I say that all the time um, and just just keep moving forward and and bring people along with you because that's what we need to do as business owners and leaders because it's gonna be up to us to fix the economy the government's not gonna fix the economy for us it's gonna be up to all of us business owners and entrepreneurs to run with it and fix it and make the world a better place again. that's it go out and have an awesome day if I can help you in any way uh, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where did it come from? And how can you use it right now to supersize, save, or grow your business, whatever position you're in, or even to start a new business, right? Never in the history of the world has there been a better time to start an online business, right? I, I mean, easy, and anybody can actually do it. The barrier to entry is, is so low. People will make you think it's super duper hard, but guess what, it's not. You can be up and running and doing something online like today. Not tomorrow, today. All right, have a great day, and I will, of course, be with you tomorrow.